Oh my god. Yo, this is so cool. That's what I need right there. Okay, what do we have here today? It's not exactly cheap versus expensive. What? I thought I was doing another cheap expensive. What's going on today? You'll have to find out. All right, let's unwrap. I wonder what could be gaming related that fits inside here. This is wrapped pretty nicely. Man, you guys wrap it so well every single time. Oh, I see the word Steel Series. Damn, I like this thing. The Sensei 310. I've seen this mouse so many times. I've been wanting to try it. Ambidextrous mouse engineered for esports. That means if you're right handed, you're left handed, you play with both at the same time, you can do it. But I never did. And today's the day. Okay, so yeah, I guess from that look, it kind of looks like a beetle. They give you that ambidextrous feature. Oh, one thing I also noticed from the box here, if you look really close, the sides of the mouse have those two buttons on both sides. Damn. How many buttons do you think this mouse has? From what I can tell, oh, two, four, six, eight buttons if you include the scroll wheel as a button. Split trigger, not sure what that means. I'll discover that in a second. I'm assuming it's because the right click and the left click are separate or something. Since I am going to be playing Fortnite, his name is... Uh, Phase Tifu. I'm sure you guys have heard of him before. He's born in 1998 and uh, his whole life he's been like an avid gamer. He also does uh, skimboarding and he has a world record in that too. He's basically been playing since he was 12 years old. Damn, okay, rise up. I like that still serious. I shall rise up. Oh, ooh, ah, this is nice. But yeah, when Tifu started out, he played a lot of Destiny. He's been in the gaming scene since Halo, since Call of Duty. Uh, when Battle Royale kind of took over the whole gaming scene, he played a H1Z1 and he entered that tournament. That's where he met Ninja in his younger days. The next Battle Royale to hit the scene was Fortnite. And he kind of just hopped on to test his skills. It turns out this guy was amazing at Fortnite. And he used this exact mouse. People are always saying, One's better than the other, but I think they're both amazing players. Now I just really want to try this mouse out. I've seen him use it on stream. Ooh. Okay. It has like this matte finish. I love matte finishes because you don't have all those fingerprints on it. And I can see here there's like that grip. I love that grip because I'm, I'm a claw gripper. So when I hold it like this, it's perfect. It's not going to slide. It's just going to keep right there. I think having a light mouse is good, especially if you're playing FPS or something like Fortnite. You know, like quickly react and do flick shots. When you're building, you got to be really fast. Mouse this weighing at 90 grams. 90 grams. I'm kind of excited. I do like a mouse where both clicks feel the same. So, all right, all right, nice and clicky. Yeah, that's right. They both feel exactly the same. And what I like about this is you feel the click activation really early, and then there's a lot of room for you to go down. So you feel yourself clicking. You don't ever, it doesn't feel like I can accidentally click this. I like that. I personally don't like to bind any buttons. I'm really simple. I just like to aim and, and shoot and that's it. This, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's to change DPI settings. I, I don't think you're gonna use the, this side if you're if you're right-handed because it's kind of hard to click like that. If you can, well, good for you. But if you can't, it, you, then you just have those two you would use at the same time. So what type of games do you play in that claw grip stuff? In, in claw grip, this is for when you really need that precise movement. So I used to play a lot of Counter-Strike and it went from Counter-Strike Source to uh, CSGO, which is the newest uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And this claw grip for me, it helps me get that really like precise movement. Like I can move my mouse like half a millimeter if I need to. What's really important to me is to be able to hold it and not get my, my hand tired. Hold it like this. I know it's weird, but that's how I play. Oh, okay. Oh, it comes out of the mouse wheel too. I didn't see that part. Right away, they hit us with the, a breathing mode that cycles through all the colors. Very nice. Okay, I get what you're saying. So basically, look at what resolution I'm playing it at and then set that DPI as close as possible to that resolution. Then just go and game or fix your sensitivity to make it uh, whatever you, you like to play with. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. So it looks like you really like this mouse. Yeah. But do you know how much you got this for? Hmm, a Steel Series mouse. I mean, it feels good. The clicks are good. Hmm. But the cable is made out of rubber. Uh, I'm gonna guess this one is sixty dollars for this. I'm gonna guess eighty bucks. It is sixty dollars, but we got it for fifty-one bucks. Damn! So you got it for fifty-one dollars. Fifty-one dollars. All right. So it's like a sale or something, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You know what? If the links are in the description below, I might just have to go ahead and click it and get one of these. So uh, why don't we try this in a few games and see how it really performs? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this with me. And we got him. Oh my god, and we got him. Oh, and we got him! 6 HP! 
Oh, this guy was so good. Holy oh, crap. And we got him! Let's go! Twitch AOW Toxic. You got it. You got us good. You got to get surprising with that shot. I think we're gonna have to take that one home. Oh! I just want to kill him for fun. I'm not a bad person, you know? Wait, bad people kill people for fun. What? <laughs> <laughs> the smoke how was it i loved it actually something very exciting happened we got a victory royale i just like to say that this mouse actually feels amazing so i did run through with three tests and i'll also be doing this with the next mouse clearly we start out by going up a ramp and we start on this little square platform spin around four walls put around repeat that 10 times to go up into the little tower and i think i went a little out of control because this mouse felt pretty good we did do an obstacle course edit test and this basically was just a little tube and it had 10 little blocks of different pieces of wood that was arranged and basically you have to get from one end to the other so you just edit through as fast as you can and get to the end thirdly we did tifu special and this is his ultimate peak shot i know in fortnite tifu was amazing at this and he was he was well known for it the main test for this mouse in that one was to see how fast we could flick to each target. After shooting one wooden target, we tried to go to the next one. I'm actually surprised. I normally can't peak shot that well. So overall, out of the three tests, I think this performed amazingly. And I can see why Tifa uses a mouse like this. Favorite thing about it is that the fact that it's symmetrical. I don't like usually large mouses. I don't like wide mouses. It's a thinner mouse. I would say this is lighter than a normal gaming mouse, but it has enough weight for you to move it really swiftly. The only thing I would change, honestly, is the cable. If you have your setup so that your wire goes behind your monitor, eventually this will kind of like fall off just because it's rubber. I would prefer this product to have a little upgrade on their cable material, but the main thing for me is really just that cable. We got one more mouse. Go. Yes, and I'm actually pretty excited to know what it is. I've been waiting for this. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we'll put the sensei aside and we'll bring on the next one. Sensei Tifu, thank you. What if I told you it was behind you all this time? Oh shit, it is. Okay, I see some blue. All right. Logitech. We have the G502. I've never played with that mouse, but I've heard about it so many times. This is the Proteus Spectrum version. Of course, RGB tunable. I think everybody on the channel has been commenting G502, G502, G502. Well, guess what? We have the G502. 11 programmable button controls and a DPI shift. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It says there's five weights to balance it to your liking. Okay. Let's find out what all the hype is about. And it goes up to 12,000 DPI. Oh wait, they give you the coefficient of friction. Okay, yo, they're serious about their stuff. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at that scroll. Holy crap, I don't know if I like that or not, actually. All right, so first touch of this mouse. I really like that smooth, that smooth finish on this. Look at the cable. This one, this one has more weight to it. But I also saw on the box, it said something about customizable weights. Oh my God, it feels so good. You know what's crazy? I usually hate these things, you know, this part right there? I don't know what to say right now, but this one feels real. Like this is, this feels like the real thing right now. Super comfortable. Oh, let's open this. This is, this will be like something like Batman has to store like his uh, batarangs, you know? Like the golden ones that he doesn't throw. Maybe he keeps them here. So there's a little tab on the side right there where your thumb is. How the heck? Pull it? Or pull this? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Two hours later. <laughs> What? Oh, hey, so it just comes out like that. What am I doing? Okay, I got it. So they have one magnet here to kind of hold that all together. That's a strong magnet. Now we play a little bit of a uh, rebuild the whole picture. Can I just put it all in? Okay, look at this. See this? This is my rank in CSGO Silver 2. Disgusting. Oh, this is cool. And then you clip on the magnet. Okay. Oh, yo, this feels way, this feels so heavy. I see. But man, I actually thought the weight was fine. Yeah, that's a good weight. I don't need to add weight. I mean, it's pretty cool. So how much do you think this costs? This one feels more expensive than the other one. And the other one was 50 bucks. It was, wait, the other one was 50 bucks. That's that's the price we got that's it. we got it. The price is that we got it for $50. $50, all right. So you pay the same thing for this. What the, what? What? So uh, I guess I'll have to check the links in the description to get this afterwards. Okay, okay. This one, this feels really smooth. I'm not sure what to use. It's not like those very typical rough braided cables. This is like, this is made to last. This is pretty durable. There are two buttons. One would switch between DPI and one is actually to change the mode of the dial. So try pressing one of them. 
What the? Surprise! Oh shit! Oh my god! Okay, that's what I need right there. Yo, this is so cool! They put how do you how's that even possible? You hear that? That's a click. I'm gonna press this. Now it's infinite. Oh man! They see me rolling, right? So is that, is that what is it? Well, I don't know. This is so cool. Oh, I can I see how it works. So by default, I'm pretty sure the mouse has the the scroll clicks. But if you click this, it pops it out of the gear and now it's no longer gripping it and it will not make that noise. I think that's super genius. I think I'm gonna have to keep it on though. That that feels nice, that sounds nice. God, this is a great mouse. The only thing I'm not sure right now is when I'm playing, like you notice I grab my the mouse and I flick a lot. I don't know if I'm able to do this with that. So that's the only concern right now that I have and the only way to figure out is to test it in game. All right, sounds good. <laughs> In your face, fluid. That was a fluid shot. Oh, oh my God! That was oh! another one. Another one! Oh my God! Oh my God! That was nice. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my God! No, you missed this. That was crazy. Can with the beak? Okay, we, we hit him once with the deagle. And we got him. Oh, we hit him. And we got him. Oh, we just dropped on his head. <laughs> yes. So I got to try out uh, the Logitech G502. This was crazy. <laughs> I was thinking this was familiar. And it turns out this was actually Ninja's main gaming mouse, the Spectrum model of the G502, which is exactly this one. A few things I didn't like, a lot of things I love. Play Fortnite, you definitely know who Ninja is. He's like a pro Halo uh, gamer to start out, and he played for teams like C9, he played for Renegade, he was in, even on Team Liquid. Now he's with Team Luminosity. Right off the bat, I'll tell you what I didn't like about it. Those two buttons, they kind of annoyed me. Kept hitting those by accident, and those changed DPIs. Even if you don't play games, you probably heard of him before when he streamed with Drake, and he broke the world record for concurrent viewers at 635k. Anyway, I thought it was so cool to test out uh, Ninja's mouse, but I did have a bit of a rough game. This mouse, I feel, is meant for palm grippers. And the reason I'm saying that is because this button right there changes the DPI as you're holding it so that when, if you're scoping, it reduces your DPI. And that allows you to kind of like move slowly and aim better. But look how far you have to go to click it. And I can't reach that. So I never use that feature, unfortunately. This mouse is comfortable if I'm using it very casually like this. But for a claw grip, I feel like it was hard for me to hold. But it did feel smoother than the Sensei, is what I would say. As you can probably see in the obstacle course, a uh, much cleaner edit and a much cleaner build during the one by one. But in a game, it was a little bit harder to use. I feel like this is something you need to kind of learn how to use. This is really close to the mouse I have at home. So I could just pick this up and use it. It felt very normal to me. So the way I hold it, cause I'm a claw gripper, I had the same grip here. Somehow it ended up actually working better than this. So even as a claw gripper, I actually prefer this over that. This is very simple, very sleek design. This is really cool. It's almost like futuristic look. This one, the big difference is it has a, a sniper button. Another huge difference is the custom weight but you can add more up to five of the 3.6 gram weights I think that is super cool the amount of customizability in this is something that you kind of want to spend your time with and if you were to get this or you see this in store put your hand on it like that G502 feels so so nice in your hand it feels so nice to the point where I like I forget to aim and I'm just like resting my hand I can see this being used in games in FPS and MMO just regular day use which of these two mice would you go for and why so first off, I want to give a shout out to Ninja's mouse. It feels really great, but I feel like I need more practice with it. I think ergonomics was a big factor, but honestly, I think weight was a way bigger factor than I personally thought. Like Ninja always says on his streams, don't just copy people for what they do. Same thing with his gear. Because I've used light mouses for a long time. I got used to it. Same thing with his keybinds in Fortnite. You kind of have to find your way with it. And once you get that, what you're comfortable with, you'll be good with it. I never got to use something like that to kind of see the difference. And now that I have played with a mouse, that is quite heavier than the one that I'm used to, I feel that I was missing out this whole time. I feel I would need more time with this to understand what it can and cannot do for me. I feel like this is actually funner to play with because the weight was kind of like focused in the back. As of right now, from what I did today, I feel like the Sensei 310 performed exactly the way I wanted to. 
and it pretty much has what I want in a mouse. Like you said, the G502, you think it would require a bit more time. Would you still go with the G502 or would you go with the Steel Series Sensei? Oh my god, this. Hands down, that's my pick for $50. I don't know if this is breaking the show, but honestly, they're both such good mice or mouse gaming mouses that I would buy both right now. $80, $50, it's still this one. I would use this as my main mouse and over time learn how to use this because I feel like this has potential. Before playing with that one, I was kind of like super sold on that one and I don't know. As of my choice right now today, I'm gonna have to go with the Sensei 310. I'll keep this in my back pocket and I really wanna, I really wanna learn this because it has some crazy potential. They did a crazy good job on this. Good job, man. Well, good job, Logitech. Holy crap. We're not sponsored, by the way, at all. I'm just mind blown by this mouse right now. So the takeaway, guys, you try it before you buy it. 100%. Choose the right tool for the right job. Yep. Everyone who plays Fortnite, everyone who plays games, you all have your own special way of doing every job. So use your tool in your style and uh, learn what you like best. Okay, thank you for coming on this episode. I guess you can walk away with both mice then. All right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I knew this question was coming, so I took both mice. See you next episode, Roland. All right, see you. See you next week.